I saw the first AMD profitability test video. Uh, these are back on mining Casper and Zill. And unfortunately, as I just showed you guys, these are getting disassembled, this rig, to get ready to sell. Which just leaves me with this rig. So I'm gonna be pulling one of my 6800 XTs out. Uh, I'm kinda tempted to pull out the 6800 XT and a non-XT, both of them. But I really only have one, so I just, I'll just leave it in there, and if it's not good, I'll just take it out later. So I'm pulling these out right now. I'm gonna put it on the test bench, and we're gonna start checking profitability for it. Uh, we're gonna run it for a few days, probably not as long as the 6700s or the 5700s, uh, maybe three or two or three max. So we're gonna do that right now. 6700 up and running. Now, <laughs> the way my test bench is constructed is stupid. I can't access the HDMI port under there, so I can't connect to it. This is actually on this one right now. So I have to remote it inside, which defeats the purpose of a test bench. So I'm kind of annoyed. I might um, I might flip it around and try to access it on this side next time. I don't know. It's dumb. But let's see how much uh, this is reading at the wall. Now, I haven't put the mem tweak in. I just wanted to see what it was at before I did that, just to get a uh, an idea of where to start from. So we're at about 128 watts. Let's enable the mem tweak and see what we end up with. All right, so the mem tweak is enabled. Let's see what it looks like in the wall. All right, so we got it down to about 103. Uh, we're gonna monitor this for, for between 12 and 24 hours and we'll see how it goes. All right, so my original Nexus settings were terrible. About a month ago, they were 40 hash at about 200 watts. Over a month ago, it was okay, like in the very beginning of Nexa. Now, it, then it eventually became crap because the miners didn't get updated. And the 3070s were doing 60 mega hash at like 110 watts. So obviously much more efficient. So I turned them off. Uh, I just wanted to see if there was any update or any kind of improvement. I followed Kiwi Crypto Miners Guide. Uh, he has great stuff. You should sub to his channel, especially for AMD overclocks. Um, so I went and I followed his settings exactly. You know, I used his um, his more in-depth settings. Now, when I say in-depth, in depth, for AMD GPUs, basic settings would be like the core and the memory. And then like things like the VDD, the vCore, etc. would be more in-depth settings. So currently I'm getting about 110 watts at the wall for 31 uh, mega hash, which is a lot better than my original settings, but still not very good and i will show you why now as far as testing any other algos i don't really feel the need to i'm currently only mining nexa caspa and zil um, i don't really mess around with ergo i'm not saying there's anything wrong with it it's a good coin i just i don't mind with it uh you know conflux is mooning i don't mind that again either um which is okay so i'm not really going to test anything else because this is just personally what i'm mining and I also don't like what the calcs are saying how, with how low profitability is. I think it's very important to use something like a test bench like this to generate your own numbers. Now, it's a little more work, but you want to be accurate and not be mining when you think you're mining at a gain, when you're mining at a loss. Like a, you could be mining at a big loss. So I will be right back with those profitability numbers. All right, guys, crew man back. Um, with the results for the 6900. Now, I didn't test for as long as the 6700 because uh, you know, I, I actually was able to get the results pretty fast and I wasn't too busy in the last 24 hours. So, the results are not bad, but they're not good, if that makes sense. Um, let's first look at Nexa. So, my original Nexa overclocks before, you know, like a month ago, right? I was getting about 40 Nexa for like 200 200 watts at the wall so it's probably like 220 watts and that was when i that was you know before any miners came out and that was you know that was using all the original stuff this was about a month ago maybe a little more my power cost is 11 cents let's uh, let's calculate it so right now i'd be losing 28 cents so that's obviously a no-go so let's swap it to now i use kiwi crypto miners settings uh, now his are always better than mine my AMD settings are a little eh. I'm better at tuning NVIDIA GPUs, to be honest with you. Um, let's go and check it out. So we're at about 110 watts at the wall. He says he can get less. It could just be that reference 6800 non-XTs used a little more power. 
I don't regret buying them because at the time they were they were the only ones you could get at MSRP, and we know two years ago it was everything was just different. So we're getting about 31 mega hash. Let's calculate it. So that's a six cent loss. That's not terrible. I mean, if you believe in Nexus price appreciation, which it has been mooning, it might be worth turning these on. However, for me personally, it doesn't make sense to mine Nexa because I have so many uh, NVIDIA GPUs mining it. And I'm, you know, I feel like someone should just release a miner to fix this because this could easily be a profitable GPU on Nexa right now. So let's go back to what I was originally testing the longest, which was, let me remove my Nexus settings, which was Casper plus Zill. So Zill, you're getting about eight mega hash. Now it seemed weird because all, a lot of the NVIDIA GPUs are getting their full hash. But I checked with some people who have been mining with AMD GPUs and Zill. You, you only get a second to mine it or a minute to mine it. It doesn't really get to tune much as far as I understand it. So you get about 8 mega hash. But it, um, and then we're going to put in Caspa, which you get about 5. I'm getting about 562 at about 100 watts. And this is at the wall, not at the GUI. And it basically <laughs> breaks even. I'm actually So I'm break even. I think based on the seven day price appreciation of Caspa and the fact that I get to write off my power, I think it makes sense for me to mine it. Uh, if you look at the 30 day, it's up about 15%. And I think it is a good coin to hold, obviously. And, and if you look at the 90 day, it's up about, or it's down 4%. However, I do like Caspa. I do think there's a future in it. And... I think what I'll probably end up doing is I will sell my Caspa that I mine this month to help cover my cost and keep as much Nexa as I can because I believe that the price appreciation for Nexa has overall been a lot better than Caspa. Is it worth it to mine on the 6800 XT? Right now it's close, but I would say yes. So I'm going to be turning back on my 6800 rig um, and probably in the next few hours. So thank you for watching this one. Uh, I hope this helps give you guys an idea on whether or not it's worth it to, to mine with AMD GPUs right now. I definitely think if I had to rank them in order, it would definitely be the 6700 XT, then the 6800, and then the 6800 XT. Now I don't have any 6600s or 6650s. I might actually try to get a 6650 just so I can start running efficiencies and testing on it. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I know your time is valuable, so thank you for spending it with me. Crew Man, out.